Hello and welcome again. Um, in this lesson, we'll be adding some extra touches to what we already have in the bookstore application. We'll be doing some schema validation and then we'll be adding a search feature to our application. To start with, let me explain what we want to do um, in the schema validation. Say, for example, you want uh, the title of any book that will be added to always be included. That means you don't want um, a scenario where the user adds a book without adding the title of that book. So to do that, you will do something like this. Um, in your schema definition, you would have the title. And then instead of just putting string here, you would um, create an object and then you'd say um, type a string then required is true so adding the required true into the um, schema definition enforces uh, mongoos to always have this title field before it creates the documents so let, let's let's experiment on this i'm going to start my server using no demon um book app and my server will start up in a matter of seconds Okay, so our server is um, started. So let's head to Postman and try to create a book, uh, post slash books. But this time, let us omit the title and let's see what happens. So I'm trying to create a book without a title and I'm sending this request and let's see what happens. All right, you can see um, I get this internal server error and the error is a validation error, validator error, pardon me. And the message is that the path title is required. So um, this is a way to enforce some validation on your schema. The second um, one I want to show you is called enum. Okay, so say for example, you want your books category to be um, a range of values. Say for example, you want your categories to be um, fiction, non-fiction, um, comics, and others. So you want your categories to just be within these four values. So you can enforce that on the schema by adding a, a property called enum. So the same way we broke this down is the same way we're going to do this here. So what we have here is type string. And then we have enum and you would see um, more explanations on this on the documentation so enum is going to be an array and that array will contain a list of um, values which are valid for this field so for example if I want to go by this, that means I'm going to have um, fiction as a string, non-fiction as a string also, comics as a string, and others as a string. 
So I'm going to save this. Now let's try to create a new book without um, passing a correct category value. And let's see what happens. So let me edit, edit this to be novel. And this time let's add the title so that we can pass that validation. And let me send this request and let's see what happens. Okay, my server is still down. Still trying to start up. Let's um, wait for some seconds for the app to start. Okay, so the app is listening on the correct port now. So let's send our request again. And the response should be here. All right. So you can see again, it throws an error. Novel is not a valid enum value for path category. And you can see the enum values here, which we specified fiction, nonfiction, comic, comics, and others. So uh, we can clear out this error by sending, for example, fiction. And when I send that, you would see that my book is now created. All right. So the third one I want to show you is with numbers. So you could specify uh, a range of numbers, for example, a minimum number, uh, a maximum number. You could also specify a default value for any of these um, schema types. So, for example, if I add here that the default value should be fiction, if I try to create this book here and I add no category, and let me just add title as latest book of fiction and I send this request um, I hope my server is up okay my server is still restarting okay great so let's go back to postman and send this request again and now you would see that even though I did not add category in my request body it gives it this default value fiction okay so that's another way to interact with your schema um, you could add a minimum length to a string like this minimum length and let's say two so the titles will not be lesser than two characters or rather the length of the string will not be lesser than two so these are ways you can validate your schema and ensure that what you get from the request um, meets with the requirements for the api all right so i'm going to uh, move on to something else in the next lesson.